Hey Sagittarius, how are you? I hope all is well. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome, welcome. My name is Sean. We're going to go ahead and look at your next 72. I'm just going to clear the energy here. Please keep in mind that this is not a personal reading, that this is actually a general reading, and that some of what I say may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, that's fine. And if the whole video doesn't resonate with you, that's fine too. Then it just wasn't your message. All right. Um, I also want to go ahead and say that the timing is fluid with this video. Even though I say 72 hours, it could happen a week later, or it could have already happened, or a couple of days later. I'm noticing that with these videos. Also, shh, Michael. Also, I'm a mother, so I have my little one in the background. He's playing a little game on, on one of my phones right here. So he might ask to go to the bathroom or something like that. So I might have to stop the video. Those of you who are parents, you understand. All right. I think I covered everything. Let's go ahead and get into this reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. We're going to open it up with Psalms 1465. One, it says, blessed are those Blessed are those whose hope is in the Lord their God. Blessed are those whose hope is in the Lord their God. Amen. Okay. Also, I have a random message here that I got from Spirit. Something about November 21st and November 24th. Those dates are really significant for some reason. That's I know that's very random, but I was getting that and I had to write it down. Also, I got stage three. Um, some of you may end up being back into stage three. I'm recording this during the COVID thing. This is a timeless reading. So something about stage three, possibly. Um, but let's go ahead and get into your messages. Mm. You got fake smiles. Oh. Let's see, for Sagittarius. Some of you may actually have someone trying to give you an offer of something. It's not a very good offer, and the person has very low IQ. <laughs> um, they're not very smart with their money, um, whoever this is. Um, you might not want to take this offer from this person. They may actually think that you're dumb, and they're trying to get over on you. I'm getting that. You're see-through it. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay, we have haunted and we have lonely here. Sag. Some of you may actually be having some type of flashbacks, uh, memories. You're haunted by some type of memory here in the next 72, and you might be actually feeling a bit alone. Let's see. And a bit confused. Let's see what this is right here. Which you don't need to, Sag. Which you don't need to because things are about to get so much better for you. They really are. Even I have my freaking moments. I was just being a drama queen not too long ago and not wanting to get out of bed. <laughs> oh, me and my drama. I have my moments. All readers have their moments too. Don't let it get, don't let it get, <laughs> let this get twisted. We're on the journey as well. Okay, for Sagittarius. So we have the Three of Cups right here. We have the Knight of Swords right here. Thank you, Spirit. Those are just kind of coming out. Let's see? Some of you are dealing with a cancer. No, no, no. I want to say, Sagittarius, make sure you don't take this offer. Um, if you feel like something's off with this person, please don't do it. But I think that you guys are very intuitive and you know. Because it's something about a bad choice here. Don't be tempted. Yeah, we have the... Page of coins reversed here. Okay, so three of cups. Clarification on three of cups. Clarification on three of cups. Two of wands. Okay, clarification on the knight of swords here. Okay. 
we have the nine of wands this kind of feels like a little bit of a love type situation for some of you but um the king of cups came right here you don't have to really see that okay sag clarification on the five of wands thank you and clarification on the lovers thank you spirit Okay, and clarification on the page of coins, and I'll explain these in just a second. I'm trying to get the story. Three of Swords. Okay, I'm going to adjust the camera here. Okay, Sagittarius, as I look at your cards, oh, excuse me, I had to burp. Okay, so I see that. You, in the next 72 or so, you're going to be having some flashbacks and memory, kind of healing from some type of trauma here. I also see that you feel a little bit lonely as well. In the next 72, I also see for some of you, this is kind of like some advice I'm kind of getting. Make sure that you're not overindulging in something with the Three of Cups reversed. Being, three of Cups reversed is about too much of a good thing. And then the Two of Wands right here. The Two of Wands basically tells me um, trying to make a decision from the past and um, the past and future, the future and the past, um, a decision that needs to be made. And I have, to, I kind of say, I kind of feel like it's a part of like, um, well, not a part. It has something to do with like a behavior. It could be you observing this with someone. A past behavior of overindulging in something. Maybe smoking too much weed. Maybe drinking too much. Too much partying right here. And being haunted by this I'm getting. That's one story from for somebody. And I'm also getting... There's something where... Um, something wrong with somebody that you... Um, that was a part of your group like a group of friends, it could be someone that's in your circle, very close to you. you uh, you're very close to this person and something has changed in that relationship and it's made you feel very lonely, I'm getting. I'm seeing that because of this, just take it as it resonates, we have the Knight of Swords, like you're trying to take um, action. Make sure that you're not trying to make too fast of an action. Like make sure that you're thinking things through before you try to... Um, Make this decision. Like I'm picking up on different stories here. So bear with me. Just don't kind of rush into whatever this is to try to fix the situation. But I'm also getting for some of you. It's just like this change came out of nowhere. Because we have the Knight of Wands right here. And he looks like he's saving this person. Like saving this person. Um, holding this female right here. And then we have the King of Cups in reverse. I feel like for some of you. I'm getting really strong baby boy vibe. You had a son with this person. This relationship just went kind of like sideways, kind of left. And for you, it kind of took you off guard. Because for some reason, I'm just looking at the guy with the baby right here. Some of you could be dealing with someone that's being very obnoxious in the next 72. This is a sleazy type person. And you kind of want to, uh, you kind of want to give them the business with your sword, but make sure you think it through. That's what spirit's saying as well. But I'm seeing right here the five of wands with the hangman. I really feel like this was someone that was definitely on your team. The way they're standing here side by side, it's like this person may have felt like they were in competition with you. And now you feel, or you feel like you were in competition with them. But I feel like you guys were kind of working on the same team, whatever this is. And now you feel like your hands are tied with whatever happened here. You feel like your hands are tied. With the hangman right here, this is about seeing things in a different perspective usually. But what I'm looking at when I look at this card, it looks like you feel like you're being tortured in a way. Like you can't get out of it. You can't escape this inevitable, inevitable, um, breakdown of this relationship or whatever this is now I feel like spirit is telling you with the lovers in reverse 
and the queen of coins right here. Make sure you're making very good decisions in the next 72 when it comes to your money. Making very good decisions right here. Give me just a minute here. What, Michael? I'm going to have to pause the video for just a second. Sorry about that, Sag. My son wanted something. Okay, so I feel like for your advice right here, Spirit is saying make sure that you are making better decisions with your money in the next 72. Make sure you're not being reckless, like acting out in some way because you feel kind of betrayed by someone or something. Like you feel like getting a really strong feeling of betrayal and having your hands tied here. Feeling like your hands and your feet are tied. Um, for some of you, you need to make a better decision when it comes to a earth sign, a Virgo, a queen of coins, which is the queen of pentacles. Making a better decision when it comes to um, this person. I like, feel like some of you had a child with this person. And you may actually feel like it was a bad decision. With having a child with the person. Like some of you. That's for another little small group of you. I'm getting. I'm sorry. I'm just looking at the card some more. I also want to say with the page of coins in reverse right here and the eight of swords, make sure that you don't, because I really feel, Sag, that someone's going to come along and try to give you some type of weird offer, okay? Um, and if you take this offer, it's going to put you in a bad situation right here, a bad bind, the eight of swords. Like, y'all both are going to be embarrassed, get caught doing something. Um, someone might, and I feel like you're much smarter than that, Sag. But I feel like there's like a setup type feeling here. You need to rise above that. But make sure you're just not acting out too in the next 72. Make sure if you're going to rebel, you have a, um, a rebellion, a cause for it. Because the the page of coins is like a being a rebel without a cause, just acting up. Some of you may actually, if that's not you, Sag, some of you may be dealing with someone who's just acting out, um, rebelling. This could be a child um, or something, a student. That's just acting out um, and being ridiculous. And you may actually get a phone call about them getting um, <laughs> going to jail um, for doing something really stupid. I'm getting. I don't mean to laugh, but just doing something just just dumb. I'm getting for some of you. But don't let this don't let this get you down too much. This too shall pass. Whatever this is. This too shall pass. You're not alone. One of the best things, um, the best gifts that the divine has given me is the gift of um, being in solitude. I've been put in a situation where I'm basically by myself before I could not stand it, but I'm actually learning more about myself um, and I'm getting communication from the other side and I'm now realizing that I've never been alone and I feel like some of you have been put in a... Um, solitude site situation where, th where relationships have not been working out for you uh, because they're being exposed certain things are not working out for you because you need that time to be alone for a while i've been having to go through that that's for someone out there let me go ahead and pull you know what i kind of want to pull one of these i don't know why i want to pull one of these and i never use this deck but i feel like i want to for sag because you guys seem like y'all have been going through it the most and you're in the same boat as my husband he's been going through it the most too it's ridiculous and no you were not Jacques the Impaler that's my joke right there it's kind of like silly uh, when things kept going wrong in my life I kept thinking was was I impaling people back in like this I don't know when they were impaling people putting people on sticks I was like that was my name, Jacques the Impaler. I was like inflicting pain on people and now it's my turn. That's not true, Spirit says. That's not true, but that's my little joke about it. You gotta laugh. You gotta laugh. Let's see the message. Ooh. We have Reveal Your Gifts. Hex. Okay, so. And we have Take the Lead right here. I am not going to try to say that because sometimes these names on these cards... I cannot even like pronounce it. Uh, Spirit is telling you right now, you need to reveal your gifts. Some of you have been hiding yourself from the world. And Spirit is saying it's time for you to show your gifts, your talents to the world. 
some of you are bleeding liquid glow gold some of you have something in you um some type of talent gift that's going to really um become very um very successful i keep getting like liquid gold like whatever's in you is like gold the way she's bleeding and then we have hex be still and allow the enemy to reveal themselves some of you have had someone reveal um you're worried about someone um working against you um don't sit there and worry about it. Let them reveal themselves because it's going to come out, whatever it is. Be still and let them reveal themselves. I feel like I want to pull one more for you. Yeah, and transform the way you see things. That's going to, that's going to help you a lot is by transforming the way you see things. All right. Yeah, surrender unhealthy relationships. Some of you, this is this person right here that did you wrong. Are you there? Something's gone wrong in the relationship and you're kind of caught off guard. You need to go ahead and just release them because it's causing way too much stress on yourself. You need to go ahead and release this person. Some of you, it's an earth sign. Some of you, it's a um, cancer. It says, let go of any, let go of any relationship that does not, that, that, don't serve you. I said does not. That don't serve you. Including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and be surrounded by positive people. All right. Let's see what else is going on with Sag. I kind of want to pull another one. I feel... I just want to see what else is going on. Trust. Yeah, I feel like Spirit is telling you to trust the process. You still need to continue to trust the process, and you're blossoming. Some of you, music is going to help you a lot, because I'm looking at her with the instrument. Some of you really need to um, listen to some more music. Music is very healing. And yes, I was going through it not too long ago, too. I was just like, you know what? I don't even want to get out of bed today. I have my days. I have my days. I'm just being 100% real. But then I look at how far I've come. And I see now that I'm making a little bit of money on YouTube. And that's something I didn't even think I would be able to do. It took a lot of work. And things are starting to move along. Because I went through some tough times. Some really tough times, Sag. From food pantries to not even having a vacuum to uh, vacuum my carpet. You know how irritating it is, Sag, to get a damn broom and sweep your carpet? That is just so ghetto. I, <laughs> but that's how broke I was. Like, it got really bad. You're going to get through this. You guys have a secure wish that will be granted. You're going to get a wish that's going to be granted. You're experiencing changes in it in your life, but spirit wants you to know that you are on the right path right here with the arrow. Be, be aware of these self delusions, like these false beliefs that you have of yourself. You're not that person. Sometimes you think that um, you're this low person or something I get, or that you're incapable of doing things. It is time for you to decide clearly what you want. Know that you're lovable. Oops, that's kind of way too many, but we'll go ahead and take it. We'll go ahead and roll with it. Yeah. Okay, we have finances. So some of you are in a relationship with a soulmate. And finances and career are really causing it. Like, it's, become, it's making the relationship very stressful. Let's just be real. It's making the relationship really stressful. You guys have been in a past life relationship before, and I feel like you or this other person isn't really fully expressing how they feel. And there's a need for honesty. I'm going to repeat myself. You're going to have to really decide if this is a connection that you want to continue um, with, Sag. I can't tell you what to do. You know, you you internally know what, what's best for you. I'm getting. Okay. Let me go ahead. And pull a financial card for you. You get a financial card. And don't start acting out, Sag. For some, I have to, like I have to tell somebody that. Like, don't start acting out and just being like, you know, 
the hell with it. Because I'm not going to lie. I was acting out too. I was like, the hell with it. I'm going to eat all these sugary snacks in here and just eat whatever the hell I want to. And it's, it's not good. Now I'm bloated as hell and it just, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. <laughs> Don't do that. Whatever it is. Financial message for Sag. Beautiful. Patience at the bottom. Even though, oh my gosh, I dropped my cards. No. Sorry. You'll get it. It's okay. Leave them right there, baby. My son's picking up my cards. Patience is needed. I know you don't want to hear that, but patience. You got to have patience. And success is going to find you, Sag. Keep going. Whatever you have, whatever this talent is, it is gold, baby. It is gold. Thank you, son. Let me pull some of your channel messages. Okay, just leave them on the floor, son. Leave them right there, okay? He's trying to help me pick up all my tarot cards that I just dropped. Channel messages for Sag. Channel messages for Sag. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. You see my son's throwing cards right here in the background. Okay. It says, they lost... <laughs> They lost you, not the other way around, Sag. Remember that. They lost you, not the other way around. You're not a failure. I love this. Spirit says you are not a failure. Keep going. You're not a failure. Damn it. The hell on with that. Don't let anybody tell you that either. Some of you have some extreme weather that's coming in your area. Just so you know, it could be a tornado or something. You're going to be safe. But there's some type of extreme weather that's coming. That's happening worldwide, though. It says, you are constantly in someone's thoughts. In the next 72, someone's, like, thinking about you constantly. Spirit wants you to know that heartaches and troubles before real success. You're going to have to experience heartache and troubles before real success. I get this when I read myself, too. I have to remind myself that, you know, it's a part of the process. Even though it's annoying, and I tell God all the time, don't bring me back here. Do not put me back on this earth. It's ghetto and people are crazy. <laughs> Bad Girls Club. Make sure that you're not fighting. Shh, Michael. Shh. Bad Girls Club. You might actually witness people fighting. Someone might want to come and fight with you. Walk away. It's not even worth it. And Spirit wants you to know that you're meant to do it differently. You're not supposed to do it the way your parents did it or anyone that you've seen do it. You're supposed to do it differently. So keep your faith up. All right, Sagittarius, if you like this reading, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. I'm about to fall out my chair. Bye.